Well, good morning, Tubies. It's Psyche Bob. I'm just combing my short, short, new style and hair and getting ready for my day. So, it's Vlog Thursday. Come and hang out with me. Well, my hair's drying up okay, and I think I'm about ready to go out. But I got to put on my jewelry, so I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing today. Here in this little glass dish, which I'll show you in a minute, I got a new charm. I don't remember if I've shown this to you guys before, but it's a little silver candlestick. It's like a candlestick with a flaming candle. I thought that's very magical and fun, so I'm going to wear that today, my silver candlestick. By the way, I had it here in this dish, which is the newest piece of my glass collection. Um, this is a, it's like a biomorphic dish. It's made of glass, Blinko glass, which is a famous American glass company. Oh God, I just hit the other vase. Um, this is from the 1950s. I just bought it at an estate auction, but it's done in kind of a biomorphic effect. See how it's kind of like flowing? Very modern and kind of dramatic. I just really like it. And I have it right here next to my other newest piece of glass. Cause you know, I'm always collecting glass. This is a crystal vase. It's from Italy, Murano glass. Um, just beautiful, free form. I like the free form kind of flowing look. It was kind of the biomorphic look of the 1950s. And this is also a piece from the 1950s that I recently acquired. You know, I'm one of these people, if I see a good piece of glass and the price is right, I buy it. So I thought you guys would like seeing my two new pieces to my glass collection and last week I think I showed you guys this this is my one of my other pieces this is a Baccarat crystal it's a little bunny isn't he just adorable do any of you guys collect crystal or glass I'm just curious um, you know do you have any brands that you recommend that I I look into for my collection like this is Blinko this is a Moreno piece and this is Baccarat so my latest in my glass collection. <laughs> there you go. How you like this? All right, we're in the elevator. Going down. Fashion check. Louboutin face mask check. Black t-shirt check. Black witchcraft jacket check. Cold jewelry check. Black jeans check. Black loafers check. And of course, Louboutin bag check. Ooh, we outside. It is bright today. Got to put on my shades. You know what we haven't done in a while? Let's go dumpster diving. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, it looks like they clear most of it out today. Let's see if there's anything back here. Sometimes y'all find little treasures tucked back in the corner. There's some panels. That looks like a bed frame. A little beat up table. Molded cushions. Nah, nothing today. But it's fun to come and look anyways. Oh my gosh. Look at our sun lord. He is shining bright in the sky a little bit of haze but he is there awesome hail to the sun lord hail to the sun lord yes our sun lord is shining down look at him hail to our sun lord what a beautiful day it's in the 60s today about 65 degrees another warm sunny day by the way i want to say thank you thank you to all of you who came out to yesterday's video we had such a good time we went out and discovered how to stay calm. You know, a lot of you have been writing to me and calling me saying you're really anxious with this whole election drama and it's causing you a lot of sleepless nights. Totally get it. I'm with you on all that. I don't like the way this is dragging on. But it is what it is. Democracy in action. Or supposedly democracy. Anyways, if you didn't see yesterday's video, it might be of help to you. If you've been feeling anxious and stressed out, yesterday I gave a lot of techniques and then just talk about, I actually went out and did them to show you things you can do to make your life more calm and centered. So check it out. Wiccan Wednesday was very powerful and magical yesterday. Well, we're going to go out and do some errands today, so come on along. Well, on the way to where we're going today, we happen to be passing by the mystical Holy Stone Mother Shrine. And so for those of you who are new here, this is a sacred spot I come to. This is actually, it was a memorial to a mill that used to be in this area, and that's a big millstone. But the ancient pagans venerated round stones with holes 
as holy stones, as signs of the goddess. So last year I consecrated this as a shrine, a pagan shrine. So we have the presence of the goddess here. We've invoked her and she's present through this holy stone. So here we are and maybe we'll do a little prayer today. How's that? Gracious Mother, Stone Mother, Mother of the Earth, we call you now and I ask for your divine blessing on all my YouTubers. Calm their anxiety, calm their fears, and bring them peace. And let them feel grounded and stable in this time of uncertainty. Bless us all, great, gracious Mother of the Earth. Hail to the Holy Stone Mother. So mote it be. So mote it be. Yay. <laughs> Over here is our little gathering of the fey trees. These triple trees here have a little kind of interesting pocket in between them. You see right down here? This is an area where I believe the fey is present, so I won't step in there. But I wanted just to show it to you. These trees are rather magical, the way they're designed. There are three trees. And you know in Wicca, three is this magical number. It represents the triple goddess as well as the triple god. These are tall trees that go way, way up. Hail to the Fey people. Fey people, may you be richly blessed this day. So mote it be. So mote it be. <laughs> well, let's go on a lot. Our Sun Lord is coming down through the trees, casting beautiful glow on these leaves. we got a great day to be out walking today. Here we are at the famous Duke Street where cars go non-stop. We're at the big crosswalk. Even though I have the cross signal, people still run these lights. This is very dangerous. I think I was going to take a chance and hopefully we'll get where we're going today. Say goodbye, we got the crosswalk signal. We're in the crosswalk, we're rolling along. Hopefully we'll make it across. Nobody will kill us. So let's roll on along. Thank you. People are nice, they stop. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, we made it across. What an amazing day we've got. And enjoy it while we got it. Soon enough, it'll be bitter cold. Look at this beautiful tree. It's turning golden color. And if we look up to the sky here, right above this building, you can see our Sun Lord's trying just to peek around it. A little bit of his corona is showing his aura. Sun Lord, will you come out and see Psyche Bob? Sun Lord, we're calling you. There you are. Thank you for coming out to see me. Hail to thee, O oh gracious Sun. Oh, you're shy today, you say? He's shy. Oh, look, he's going back behind the building. <laughs> Love me some Sun Lord. Oh, Tubies, look where we are, outside one of my favorite stores, the Mercedes dealer. Yay! I don't know if you can see up there. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. It's a Mercedes logo. Yay! I love Mercedes. Should we drift down through and take a peek in the windows? Let's see what's down here. Oh, Tubies, my favorite car is here. Look, it's a Mercedes E450. Isn't that a beautiful car? Look at that. That's what Psyche Bob wants. I definitely need to buy a Mercedes. We got some beautiful ones sitting out here in the lot. Oh, I want a black one. That looks sharp. What's Psyche Bob going to do? Should I buy a Mercedes? Well, I'm sure tempted. And here we are at well, what's the name this week? The West End Village Shopping Center. I haven't been here in a long time. Probably at least six to eight months, maybe a year. But we're going to come up here and have some lunch today. Something new and different. 
as I said, they keep re, uh, renaming this. I never know week to week what it's called. It used to be called Pickett Street Shopping Center, and then it was called some other name, and now it's West End Village. So, okay, West End Village is its latest incarnation. <laughs> We're going to go down here and go to a restaurant I haven't been to in a long time either. So it's called the Southern City Kitchen. Come on along. I love this shopping center. It just feels so 1980s. This is similar to the other the other shopping center. I told you, took you last week or a few weeks ago to the other shopping center that was like 1980s. This is also a 1980s shopping center. They just renovated it though, so it's a little looks a little different now, but it still feels 1980s to me. You know, back in the 80s, these kind of strip malls were all the thing. That's what you know everybody was into back in the day. And they still have it. And even though they've renovated it, it still feels 1980s to me, which I kind of like, you know. So you can see over there, there's a Home Depot. There's the other shops. Taste of Asia is here, but they're not open for dine-in business. I called ahead and they said they're not opening for another year. Which I don't know why all the other restaurants are open, but that's just what they're choosing to do, I guess. We're going to go down here and see what we can get for lunch. So come on along. All right, here it is. South Pickett Street City Kitchen. Open, yay. All right, well here we are. Yay. Well, let's go on in, get some good food. Well, here I am ensconced in my booth. I'm gonna have a great time here. They're so high tech here. They told me that if I wanted to, I could scan this and see the menu on my phone and order from my phone. That is really cool. That is very high tech. Anyways, I got me a nice cold Coca-Cola today. And I think they actually brought me the drink list. I don't think I have a drink now, but anyways, they're going to bring me the menu also. In the meantime, we'll have some Coca-Cola. And look what I found in my pocket. Do you guys know what this is? It looks strange. Is it a science fiction thing? No. It's actually a halogen light bulb from my lamp in my dining room. Anyways, it burned out. So while we're up here, we're going to go shopping at Home Depot for halogen bulbs. Hopefully I can find this one. And we'll be good to go. And of course today, just to relax a little bit, I brought my book, my spiritualist book, The Rock of Truth by Arthur Findlay. Um, good news for you guys. Um, I think that I'm now officially a member of the SNU, Spiritualist National Union. So the SNU sent me a, uh, when I applied, they said, we've received your application, we'll be in touch. Then a little while later yesterday, I got another email that says, welcome the Spiritualist National Union. And they said, we're going to be mailing you your membership card and welcome packet. So I think I'm in. But I want to say thank you to all of you who said that you would write letters of referral on my behalf. So say so Bob's in and we're going to do some wonderful stuff. I hope to be traveling to Britain next year to do some public appearances. And I'm looking forward to meeting all of you and being part of the SNU. Oh, I have to show you what else I recently found. I thought I lost my Louis Vuitton card case, but I found it. I just took it out of my bag and I put it in the kitchen. Don't ask me how it got in the kitchen, but it was up on a counter in the kitchen and I didn't see it. But anyways, I found it, but I'm so happy to have it back because Louis and, and my card case are friends. <laughs> I got Louis. He's back here sleeping today. <laughs> Here's my little charm on Louie. Isn't that cool? Little jeweled star. But anyways, this card case I was going to tell you guys about. I've had this almost 30 years. This is how good the Louis Vuitton products are. Now, I'm not being endorsed by Louis Vuitton. But I bought this in 90 or 91. And I use it all the time. I've used it for 30 years. And the leather is still just as supple and as beautiful. It's not worn. The stitch work on Louis Vuitton. Any of you who have owned Louis Vuitton, you know. Their stitch work is immaculate. After 30 years of use, it still looks pretty new. And in here, of course, I have my cards. Actually, I gotta order more business cards. I've given all my business cards up. But I have my social card, which is this one, Lord Iseon. So there you go. Anyway, so I'm carrying my Lord Iseon social cards with me. 
in my 30 year old Louis Vuitton card case. Pretty good quality. Oh my gosh, guys, look what I ride. I ordered one of their custom made pizzas. This restaurant is famous. I've never had their pizza here. So now I've got a pizza, oh, pepperoni and sausage, tan toss. They call it the City Kitchen Pizza Pie. Mm, I love it. Ooh, fancy cloth napkins. Love it. Yeah, whoops, what? That's my silverware. Oh, oh, this is looking good. Mm -mm. Mm. Excellent. Mm. Oh my gosh, guys, you're not going to believe this. I picked up the silver and I thought, God, it really feels heavy and it's just beautiful. And I thought, looks like it's silver. It's hand hammered. It's really high quality. And I flipped it over. It's got a sterling mark. I actually have real sterling silver wear <laughs> at this restaurant. I don't think the average person knows it or they'd probably steal it. It's just, look at the beautiful hammered silverware. Oh my God. I can't believe they got like... We'll say, you know, so they put this stamp, it's got 925 stamp on the back. Who doesn't know? <laughs> that was such an awesome lunch. Oh my gosh, I am so full. Well, I'm sitting here working on my book. This is a spiritualist book, Rocket Truth by Arthur Finley. Arthur Finley founded the Finley College of mediumship in England. He was also a director of the Spiritualist National Union, which I'm part of. So I love Arthur Finlay and I love all his writings. So in here he's talking about physical matter and etheric matter, which we've been covering this in my psychic development class. By the way, if you are interested, you should join my psychic development class. It's held every Saturday. You can register for that over at my website, it's psychicbob.com. It's only $30, and we all meet on Zoom on Saturdays, and we cover all of these sort of things and go into detail and work with it. So, anyways, according to Arthur Findlay, um, he talks about the connection between etheric matter and physical matter. And so I thought I'd read a little bit of this to you guys. So he says here, we are told from the etheric world of this vast range of vibrations and knowing what we do of physical vibrations we can appreciate how and where the two worlds meet we have no difficulty we have now no difficulty in relating physical matter to etheric matter physical matter is made up of vibrations within two fixed points etheric matter is made up of vibrations just beyond 64,000 waves to the inch. The etheric world is just a continuation of the vibrations beyond what our senses perceive. Anyways, we'll stop there for right now because it could go on forever with this, but I just want to show you this amazing chart and he shows the range of vibrations and frequencies according to the spiritualist teachings. So here is see where that black bar is he said this is our entire physical world so this is the visible light spectrum so anything beyond that our physical senses can't detect and he shows like heat waves we can feel heat waves but we don't see they're beyond our physical visible light spectrum and so it shows like this direction goes heat waves short wave short radio waves microwaves long radio waves this is beyond the infrared and then here is the let me just try to show this the visible um, waves right here okay that little black bar is the visible waves then beyond that's the infrared okay and then above above it is ultraviolet so as far as we have discovered in our current science, we're very limited by our physical senses in the view of, of what's real. So they show that the etheric world impends upon the physical. And these are the etheric world energy waves that go on and on and on. Up here he has gamma rays and x-rays and soft x-rays. I guess he's, I don't know how he 
classify said like that's a physical thing. I personally would think that that would be above the physical and then go to the etheric. But you know, I don't know. I don't know everything about it. So I'm not an expert on every single thing in spiritualism. Um, and then up here it says unknown beyond this. So anyways, this is why he says that ghosts appear because they touch in on our visible at the lowest end. Their, fr their frequency is right right near us. This accounts for like apparitions or sometimes people will actually see a spirit of somebody who's actually still alive. Like they'll be sleeping in their body, their spirit body will appear. That's because they temporarily drift beyond the physical, visible light spectrum into the edge of the etheric. So, anyways, just want to share that with you. We'll talk more about that. If you come to my Saturday class, we're going to get a lot more in depth on all of this. Well, I had a great lunch and we need to go do some shopping. So come on along. Oh my gosh, that was such a good lunch. Oh wow, I loved it. Well, we're gonna go out here into the big world. Let's see what there is, Jesse. <laughs> come on along. Ooh, it's bright out here. It's like about got put on his shades. You know, at this shopping center, they have a number of open storefronts. Here's one here that's vacant. This might be a good one to, to explore also as a Wiccan temple. Look how big it is inside. That'd be really cool. All right, well, we'll check it out. It looks like most of the shops are still here. This is a yoga place and a kickboxing place and a boot camp. Can you say Sega Bob and boot camp? Oh my God. We're gonna go down here and go over to Home Depot over here. We're gonna check this scene out. <laughs> Ooh, well here we are at the garden center. <gasps> they have one of my favorite flowers, the chrysanthemums. The mums, aren't these beautiful? I wish I could have mums. I don't have a balcony. These need to be outdoors and the direct sunlight. Look at these purple, aren't they just amazing? But I can't have it. Look at that big basket. That's lovely. Let's we'll zoom in on that. Isn't that beautiful? Well, maybe someday I'll have another condo and have a balcony. Oh, tubies, they're getting ready for Christmas. Look at this. Woo, Yule and Christmas. I love Christmas. <laughs> I think it's so much fun. Look up here. Oh my gosh, they got the giant blow up. Oh, look at the giant bridge. He's literally like 15 feet tall. Way up there. Oh my God, it's amazing. I want that Grinch. It's only $149. I think that's worth it. Oh, look at these trees. It's like being in a magical wonderland here. Walking in a winter wonderland. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, this is getting me in a holiday mood already. <laughs> We gotta go look at that Grinch. That's really amazing. Look how big these things are. Oh my God, they're amazing. I think Sega Bob gonna have to buy the Grinch. What do you think? Oh look, there's a Yoda. Oh my God, the Yoda is only $29. Inflatable Yoda. Oh, isn't that great? I love that. Sega Bob gonna have to have that. There's the inflatable Grinch up there. Now that is amazing. What do you think of that guy? 149, but it's like literally like 15 feet tall. I'm going to have to buy that. All right, now we got to find this light bulb. So we're going to look. Hopefully we'll have some luck today. Well, somebody's in the halogen light section, so we'll have to come back to that. They've got the whole area they're taking out of. Anyways, while we're here, we'll take a look at lamps. I need to buy some new lamps for my house. Ooh, that's magical. Look at that. Changing glow ball. That's kind of cool. I actually have these lamps, but they actually don't light that well. I need to get some more Torchier lamps. Ooh, that one looks cool. It's $59. Look at that. Very spacey with a ring around it. Kind of like a ring lamp, but a Torchier version. I like that. $59. I might get that. 
So many choices. Ooh. How do I look in good lighting? All right, TB, say goodbye, Lucky. I got my 100 watt bulb. They checked it against my curb. It's slightly different brand, but everything else matches and it should work for my lamp. Looks like I'd be styling. I got my lamp all sorted. We're ready to go. Yay, got my light bulbs. Mission accomplished. Think about it's happy. <laughs> Whew, let's take off this mask now that we're outside. Well, I tell you, we got the best day. It's like 70 degrees now. I'm going to have to take my jacket off. It's so warm. Our sun lord, though, as you can see, is already moving to the west. That way's west, and uh, soon he'll be sinking. Our days are definitely noticeably shorter now. We're in the dark half of the year. It's a time for great mystical reflection. It's so fun just to hang out with you guys today. Well, I got my light bulbs. I'm so happy. These uh, light bulbs go in my dining room lamp, so I just bought a new dining room set. But you can't see it because I start to put it together and the lamp in the dining room is in. So now I can light up and see what I've got in there at night. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, I'll show you my dining set as I get it finished. Uh, it's really cool. It's an Art Deco dining set made of um, brushed nickel and black glass. I think it'll be really cool. It's just a small little dinette set, but I like it. Yeah, our Sun Lord is definitely in the western sky already. I say goodbye, I'm going to head on home because I got more readings to do. By the way, I want to say thank you to all of you who've been calling for private readings. Uh, if I don't pick up the phone, please leave a message. It's usually because I'm in a meeting or something and I'm not trying to ignore you. But uh, if you want to get on my schedule, give me a call. My phone number is 703-825. 3929. I'd love to hear from you. Get you on the schedule for a psychic reading. You know, a private reading with me. It's a full hour. You and me, one-on-one. -on -one. If you've ever said, gee, I would love to sit down with Psyche Bob and spend an hour talking to him and learn about my soul journey, you can do that in your private reading. So give me a call. 703-825-3929. Also, you can check me out at my website, psychicbob.com. Go over there and read about my work as a psychic medium. And you can register for my class. This Saturday we're teaching Psychic Class. We're continuing with channeling. Don't worry if you haven't been to the other classes. You're, this class is structured so you can come right in and start learning right away. So I hope you'll join us. It's $30. It's a two-hour class on channeling live with me teaching you. And you get to see me face-to-face, -face, ask questions, and learn my psychic technique. So hope you'll join us. Go register at my website at psychicbob.com. There's a PayPal button. You just scroll down through, click on the PayPal button, enter your information. It'll send me your notice, and you're in the class. So on Saturday morning, about a half hour before the class, I will send out the Zoom link to your email. Just check your email on Saturday morning. And when you get that link, you can click it, and you will come right in to the classroom. You don't have to figure out how to work Zoom or anything. It's all automated. So I hope you'll join our psychic development class. We're going to explore vocal channeling, how to merge with a spirit guide. I hope you'll join our class. Well guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. I had a fun time and I hope you did too. Keep it here at Spirit Channel. We got more coming. Tomorrow is free for all Friday. I don't know what we're doing yet, but just be here. We'll have something fun. You guys are best. I love you. Mwah. Sending blessings to all of you. We'll be back here tomorrow. And until then, may all of you always blessed be.